This video is to show the mechanism for the base catalyzed aldol condensation. We have an aldehyde in the presence of base. The first step is deprotonation at the alpha carbon to give us the enolate, which is resonance stabilized. The enolate is not the aldehyde is not going to be completely converted to enolate, so there will be some neutral aldehyde in solution. So one molecule of enolate reacts with one molecule of neutral aldehyde and does a nucleophilic attack, making a carbon carbon bond and giving us this negatively charged intermediate. The negatively charged intermediate is protonated by interaction with the solvent, which is water, to give us a beta hydroxycarbonyl. You should always look for the beta hydroxycarbonyl if you are trying to figure out if something was made by an aldol condensation. Sometimes an aldol condensation ends here, and sometimes it continues and goes another step and undergoes dehydration. So here is the mechanism for the dehydration step. The beta hydroxy alcohol. Um, Beta hydroxyaldehyde reacts with base. The base deprotonates at the alpha carbon to make this enolate. And then the rate determining step happens next. This enolate makes a double bond and hydroxide is the leaving group. You might have heard of this mechanism referred to as an E1CB mechanism. It might or might not have been in your book in first semester organic. If you have heard of it, that's what this is. Otherwise, you might not worry about this term. And E1CB reactions have hydroxide leaving groups, so they don't sometimes don't happen unless there's a higher temperature. Because we taught you hydroxide is never a leaving group. And um, but depending on what the starting material looks like, these can happen readily at room temperature.